So in this video, we're going to be talking about the new firmware that just came out today for the Pocket 4K and 6K cameras. It's a really small update, but to be honest, Blackmagic design is just surprisingly shocking me right now because the Pocket 4K is, was released two years ago, almost two years ago, and they're still releasing firmware updates for it. That That's just something that's so different with them now as you all know i've been using their cameras since 2013 and i gotta say man releasing new firmware for the pocket 4k even just small stuff like what they did today is definitely uh really good on their part but let's go ahead and talk about what change in firmware 6.8 uh first up is the boot time on the pocket 4k which to be honest i thought wasn't that bad i've used red cameras before and they boot up like they actually take their time to boot up. So go ahead and check out the before the firmware update and then after the firmware update that I'm showing you guys. So the next thing they did on the Pocket 4K is they bumped up the resolution of the 2-4 aspect ratio up to like maybe 10 pixels or so. It's just, I mean, like I said, really small things, but it's still kind of nice to have. And then the next thing they added is they fixed a bug where it takes a long time uh, for a media to show up whenever you plug it in the camera, especially if you have a lot of files in a media and you plug it in. So they fixed that bug. Hopefully, I honestly didn't have that problem because I usually use my SSD drive for a lot of the shooting. So like I said, the firmware 6.8 is available for 6K and 4K cameras but I just went ahead and talked to you guys about the 4K version of it. If you wanna know more about this firmware update, go ahead and check out the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and send you the link for you guys to download it. I've had it for the whole day and I don't see anything wrong with it yet. So that's a good thing. Uh, if you wanna wait around and maybe like a week or so, usually I do. If I see something wrong after updating this firmware, I'll update you guys. But if I don't, then that means this firmware is good to go. Like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.